So I guarantee there's a handful of you guys that saw the title and like, who's Cerberus Knives? Cerberus Knives is my friend Christian Ortiz, Chris, up in uh, Orange, uh, California, not too far from here. And he's really been stepping up his game. Chris started out making scales, a bunch of stuff. And now he has two knife offerings. He's designed knives for, it, for Artisan and he has a pry bar. So we're going to take a look at all this stuff quick. And then I'm going to do a video about the riot. So we're going to turn this around and take a look at these three items, these three epic EDC items from above. But first, turn on a volume because here comes a little bit of music. Guys, we're going to look at these three awesome EDC items that are coming from Cerberus Knives. You got the Atlas Pry Bar, the MAFB Fixed Blade Knife, and the Riot Scalpel. So I love this Riot Scalpel. So it's probably going to be the first one we look at, but they're all great items. Uh, Chris has got a really good eye for design. I don't know if you know this. Chris is the one that designed the Arian for Artisan Knife Company, which was a very, very popular knife, really great knife. This is very similar. So we're going to move some of the stuff out of the way and take a look at this riot first. And um, I got some spec sheets and stuff we'll throw in. I think this is probably going to be the only one that gets its own full video, mainly on a time constraint thing, because Chris does need these back. So, all right, guys, let's get all this other stuff out of the way and take a quick look at. All right, guys, this is the Cerberus Knives Riot, and not only is it awesome, it has a really cool name because it is an acronym. It stands for Rapid Involuntary Organ Transplant Tool. Now, this is a small little self-defense, da uh, not dagger, scalpel. This is an everyday fixed blade that you can carry. Really not all that big. I'm going to put the spec sheet over here so you can see. Um, but yeah, on that spec sheet, you can see I've got the S90V version. So that's the one I showed. There are several different versions he has available on his website. And these things are really, really nice. It is a sturdy, well-made, single machined piece of S90V. It's been CNC milled. Uh, this is his personal. So if you see any little flaws on it, that's because this is his personal. Uh, it has a micro, uh, I think we call this micro line or micro string uh, wrap. It's a lot like 550 cord, micro cord wrap that's done. Uh, he is going to start offering these with actual handles uh, so that you have the different options of it available. But this is a hand wrapped handle. You can see really light because it's been milled. The balance on it is great. It is coming in right on the scale. I know I showed the, uh, I showed the, um, spec sheet, but five and three quarter inches on this. And the S90V is done really, really well. I sharpened this up. It is nightmare inducing sharp. It is a little thick behind the edge, but then again, it's not a very broad blade. You got a really nice clip point look to it. And the thing is, you've got all this cord, you've got all this, this micro cord, and you've got these holes. You could lash this to something in a pinch if you needed a spear of sorts, if you were out in the wilderness, things like that. Comes with a nice molded Kydex sheath with a uh, carbon fiber weave pattern on it. Uh, I do know that he's got different colors of different colors of the ceramic coating, different colors of cords, so you can find what you're looking for. If I remember correctly, this model was $175, which is not bad for an American-made fixed blade that has a lot of handwork that's done to it because he is he is ceramic coating each one of these individual knives himself, and he's also doing the cord wrap himself. So a lot of time intensive work that goes into it. He started off making scales uh, for Spyderco knives and stuff like that. He still does do that, but these knives are really, really awesome. Really good jimping. This is something if you're carrying it, you can carry it with a soft loop. You could put a uh, an ulti clip on it and carry it in your pocket. This is a nice little easy to pull out tactical self-defense tool right there in an attractive package. I'm not going to lie. It cuts really well. It's nice and thin in hand. So if you just want something that you can carry, have in your pack, 
throw in your car in your glove box to have something that you if you needed a small knife but you know something that's just not too big not too hard to carry i've been carrying this actually i'm not gonna lie to you i've been carrying this in my hip pocket i don't know why i say i'm not gonna lie to you when i say things i'm i'm gonna tell you right now i've been carrying this in my hip pocket with an ulti clip and it's pretty nice so really thin does not get in the way so there you go the riot uh, in S90V. And once again, that is the rapid involuntary organ transplant tool. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and take a look at the next one. All right, guys, since these are not just all knives, they are EDC items as well. This is the Titan pry bar done in 3V titanium pocket clip. This thing is a little beast. Um, he has made a bunch of these and they have sold really well. They do a great, great job. And because it's in 3V, as much as I love my uh my enigma multi-tool with the with the tweezers and stuff it's right here uh one of the problems titanium is nowhere near as hard and so i have actually like dinged this up and stuff like that 3v is a very very shock resistant steel this one is cut thick enough you could use this as a flathead screwdriver if you needed to it's got the bottle opener built into it beautiful checkering but what I was saying is this is in 3V done at like 61 Rockwell. This is going to hold up. It would be very, you'd be very hard pressed to damage this in any way. Uh, you use it for scraping, prying. It, it's a pretty good uh, tool for disassembly of parts of things. Um, they're always nice to have handy and around. Like I said, this one lives on the workbench uh, because it does come in handy. This would be something you could throw in your pocket because it's got a nice, it does have a very nice pocket clip with really good retention. And on top of everything else, not only is it just a functional little tool, it's attractive. Scuzz, I don't know, I actually know what happened, but there was a section of this video where I was talking about the inlay on the Titan Pry Bar, which is a purple glow in the dark inlay. It's sun reactive and it glows really bright, but I don't know what happened because the audio was all screwed up and the video, it looked like it like it looked like old Skinamax when we were kids. It just looked like it had been scrambled. So um, so when I talk about the attractiveness, this the inlay on this is a purple sunlight reactive glow in the dark. So and it glows pretty bright. So there you go. Sorry about that. That's screwed in uh, and it's been completely coated everywhere to prevent rust. Uh, I've been carrying this on and off. Oh, I think I got these. I got these right. I got these from him right before I caught COVID and I put this, started carrying this in my pocket maybe a week ago on and off because it's not a knife and I don't have to do first aid and carry. It, it is a very handy tool to have around uh, because you'd be surprised how many times you have to pop something open or pry something. Or I used it earlier today to take the brush bar, the beater bar off of the vacuum cleaner because it's got these locks that you have to undo. And then I used this to pry up the belt so that I could get to it. So really super handy thing to have around. And then it's it's done attractively. Like I said, in 3V, you can pry and beat on this all day. And I don't think you're gonna have any problems. You would be, you'd have a hard time destroying this item. I really do think. So these are also on his website. Like I said, this is the Titan. I think he calls this the gunmetal. Um, but these are 100%, all this stuff's 100% American made. Chris does all the anodizing. He does all the finishing on these as well, like I said. So he is pretty much, once the machining is done, Chris takes these and he puts them through all the steps, QAs them, makes sure that all the machining is the way he wants it, then coats them, then puts them together, then does the anodizing on a pocket clip, all those things, and then gets them out. So there you go, the Titan Pry Bar by Cerberus Knives. And I do like the fact he put his logo on it because he has a really, really good logo. So there you go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. All right, guys, so this last item, this is the Cerberus Knives MAFB, and this one is in 3B, 3V with Butterscotch Micarta Scales. Now, I'm not sure what MAFB stands for, but I do, I will tell you, this is very similar to the Arian uh, folding knife. And like I said, these are his personals, so you're going to see, so these are just like anything that I've ever made that I kept. I didn't keep the, the best ones, but this thing is so thin behind the edge. I'm actually going to grab my micrometer or not my, my calipers real quick and measure the behind the edge on this because it is nuts. Hang on just a second. All right, guys, I went and grabbed the calipers. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So behind the edge on this is in it's point zero one two 
behind the edge. And I'm not even like right behind the edge. I can't even get behind this. It is so thin that that is my sharpening because I, I sharpened this when it came because it had just been coated. That is, that is my typical sharpening angle for something like this. And that bevel is so thin. This slices like a laser. For me, I don't think this would be a knife I would purchase because uh, it's it's a little small for my hand. But this thing, if you're looking for a small, just complete ripper of a knife, this would be one. Now, this is in 3V, and I forgot to I think I forgot to mention when I talked about the riot. All the knives are priced based on steel. So if you get a knife in 3V, it will be a different price than say S90V. Just depends on how his pricing structure and what the steel cost. This is a great little fixed blade with a very attractive look. It's not very thin blade stock either, guys. So blade stock on this. Let's go ahead and zero that back out once we close it. Blade stock on this, you're looking at 0 0.1, 0 0.14, 0.14-ish on blade stock. That's not thin blade stock to come down and have it come down that thin behind the edge. It just almost disappears. I did cut up. A uh, little bit of stuff with this, and it performs really well at all tasks. Um, if, so if you're looking for a nice little fixed blade that's not real heavy, it's got a good feel to it. It is. It comes with another um, carbon fiber checkered patterned uh, sheath that you can carry, scout carry, and then you've got a great little cutter right up on it like that. You can get right up on it and do a lot of detail work cutting. So if you are somebody that can carry a small fixed blade at work, something like this in 3V is going to, 3V will hold an edge forever. It really, really will. So you're getting the best of both worlds. So it not only you're getting 3V, but you're also getting the ceramic coating, which is going to protect it from corrosion. You're getting a nice thin blade that's still in relatively thick blade stock. So it's really robust. Ease of sharpening because of the thinness of that behind the edge. And it's really gonna cut what like that would be right there that is such a good feel on that and like i said if you like the arian this is a very similar blade shape really similar blade shape the reason i say i wouldn't get it is well i've got so many other knives that kind of fit this same purpose and i i just typically like to have a little bit more flat um instead of it completely swept up but great great design great beautiful knife uh, another one from chris over there at cerberus knives i'm trying to get him on the channel for a live feed so i believe because it's my favorite of them that I am going to do a full video about the Riot because I can just see this being something that somebody could carry as a, as a self-defense item and things like that. And I really see the value of that. So we will probably throw this in and do it with a couple other small items that can be used in the same fashion. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts on these epic EDC items from Cerberus Knives. So there you go, guys. There was three things from over there at Cerberus Knives. I have to say, while the pry bar is cool and the MAFB is pretty cool as well, I think I like this little Riot self-defense scalpel about the best of all of them because it's easy to carry. It's easy to use. It's not going to be something that's prohibitively large. And it's in one of my favorite steels, S90V. So yeah, go check out Chris. I will put a link to his website down below where you can pick these things up. So Guys, that's it on this one. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the content, give it a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change it if I don't know what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. But if you do hit the bell icon, remember you've got to have notifications turned on on your device or you will not get notified of everything I put up, which is a lot. I'm going to start stepping up a little bit more even and put up more content. Um, other ways you can do it, like I said before, I have a bunch of affiliate links down below. The Amazon affiliate links are the best because anything you purchase, even if it's not the item you clicked on, I still get credit for it. So if you're buying shampoo and a plunger and a bunch of other stuff, check out one of my affiliate links and go do it there. Uh, other ways you can do it, I have a membership that is tier-based. Pick a tier that gets you what you want out of the membership. But remember, everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service, and everyone has access to my gilded server where we chat. If you're a premium tier member, you premium tier member, you have access to a sharpening tutorial series I've built. And the final way is I have a merchandise store over at Ember Shirt Co. 
I have set up a coupon code that will save you 10% anywhere at Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 10% at checkout. And if you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in a video in the background. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.